Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So, past breakfast, I got um, a pouch of uh, the oatmeal, apple cinnamon, and I made a grilled cheese. I got my yogurt and my coffee. So, once I'm done here, once I'm done, I'm going to upload, take a shower. The Fonda got some... Uh, Christmas wrapping to do. So, it's, but you gotta go get wrapping paper and tape in that. So, I'm gonna go with her, get dropped off at the apartment. Clean it up a little bit, bring my modem over, and got a couple things. I wanna clean it up. I bought um, spray nine some topper towels, a couple SOS at work there the other night. So I'm gonna bring that over and I'm gonna clean before I bring my dishes and my stuff in there. I don't have a mop, but I can always just wash that little floor, a little bit of floor I got with um, well, I'll probably just leave the floor because I gotta, I have to go to a dollar store and get a mop and that. And, because I mean, it's the bathroom, I gotta clean the floor and that, so. Yeah, so. And then she'll pick me up and take me to work. It's minus, feel like minus 48 out. And that's the weather, man. It probably feels like minus 50. It's like Port McMurray weather right now. Alberta's the coldest, I think they said in the world right now. Not in the country, but it can't be the coldest in the world because we're talking about Alaska and Nunavut and all that. They get, but I think that's a little bit extreme, but I don't know. That's what Google said Alberta was the coldest in the world, maybe at that time. that they did it. We could have been, not the whole day, but maybe at that time. I don't know. But we could have been the coldest. Because at seven o'clock when I went out to have a cigarette, I checked it and it said, feel like minus 48. And I know it was colder than that. So. Yeah, so when I go over there, I'm gonna check the mailbox. <laughs> empty out anything that's in it. Whatever's in there, I'm gonna write down, move, return to sender, so we won't keep on getting that stuff or whatever it says. I'm not gonna run around looking for the parking spot, though. I do have a parking spot, but I don't think they got those little, um, they're tiny, really, really low, where you can plug your car in. But, to warm it up, but there's no numbers on it, so. She said, oh, it's 42, she said. It's beside a Lincoln. Like there's a shitload of cars out, cars out in our parking lot. Like, anyway. I don't need it right now because when Ian moves me, we can, she said the back door is closer to my apartment. It's okay to park there to move, you know. But it, it got company, you can't, you can't do it, but I've got a parking spot. Now, there's no underground parking and I didn't have to um, pay for it. It was part of the apartment, so the parking spot. And they probably do have, is there parking there? But I'm not going to go around the parking lot looking for it, that's for sure. Not today. Not today. Yeah, what else? 
Um, my lease is there too. I signed it and we had to photocopy it. And it's supposed to be in the kitchen. My end of it, because there's two ends. My end. Got three washers on one dryer. Down at the other end of the hall. It's only one washer and one dryer. But you that's the end of the hall you go to um, load your key card there. Because they use key cards. Yeah. I'll probably just start out with 50 bucks. That should last six months because she put a hundred when she lived over in Summit, the seniors there. And that was, she said what? It was in the summertime, so. And she put a hundred and she, she still got like $50 on it, so. That lasts for six months. I just want to clean it up a little bit and bring my modem and hook that up. Make sure it works. <laughs> the phone just still got the call. I still tell her go to her doctor to the clinic and tell them because if it's infection it's not going to go away she had the same thing last month she couldn't talk and had the cough and everything it'll lay dormant i told dad he called me yesterday said he was sick a couple days coughing and blah 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 and i said well that's going around I said, but he said he, he's better now. I said, it's a sneaky bug bugger. I said, if you feel good for a couple weeks, three, two, three, four weeks, whatever, and it comes back, go see your doctor because it's, uh, it's an infection and you need antibiotics. Because it lays dormant. And each time it comes back, it's worse. They just take a swab of your mouth and put it in a thing and they can see if it's that part of that strep, strep, what is it? Not strep B, is it strep A that's going around? They interfere with your tonsils and everything, you end up having to get, get them out. There's something, some type of strep going, you gotta watch it. I don't think it's strep, I think it's just an infection. Just a sec. I'll be right back. I wanna my clothes are dry. I gotta make sure. Hold on. Hold on. Make sure I put them on. pajamas but they're not they're like fleece inside legs don't get cold let's put it that way not with these 
I got the Matt Tiger. Giant Tiger last year. Whenever we had that cold snap, I wore these pants. I got three. I got one with blue lines, black and blue lines, and one with black and red lines. And these are black and red. And white. Yeah. They're all lined inside. They're sort of, they remind me of, uh, they remind me of, uh, inside, um, not really. We won't say long johns, but no. It's like a fleece inside. Little black fuzzies, like. Legs don't, you don't need long johns with these. Nice and thick. Thick socks, good boots. It's got a dress warm. But I did cancel the bus yesterday, it was too cold. The Fonda drove me in. And then today, tomorrow I'll catch the bus. I'm going to start warming up a little bit. Monday or Tuesday is supposed to be minus 7. It's going to feel like spring. Start having minus 48 wind chill. Hopefully this is our cold thing, snap. So I know, two years ago it was in January, it was a week or so, almost two weeks. And last year it was almost three weeks of a cold snap. And that was in February. And why they're keeping a car wash, I don't know. Those doors are frozen up. Goes down, keeps on going up, going down, and, oh, fighting the door. But we got them all open. I must have installed all those heaters and all the, but those doors, those big bay doors, cracking and going and ice at the bottom, but there's nothing I can really do about it. I got ice melt down underneath of it, that's about it. The last couple of nights, I didn't think I was going to get out of there. The thing is all ice inside. The lock. It's right ice. I took the scraper, car scraper, and broke it off. The ice off the, the lock. You can't play with the door either. Because the alarm is going on. You set the alarm and you can't play with the door. So, like don't open and close at any type of movement like that. We'll mess, mess the alarm system up. Oh, so me and bro, bro did upload that video. It looks like I was scared, but I seen the legs when I opened up. I seen the two. I said they are spider. I knew he'd do that to me. For some reason the video made me look scared, but I knew I knew it was. I, I seen the legs before I opened it all the way. Two of the little legs, they weren't moving, but I seen two of them and I said, there, one of them things that's gonna jump out at you. about it because I gotta have a cigarette upload this take my shower my clothes will be dried the fawns is getting ready she'll be going pretty soon there and I'm gonna just get dropped off dropped off at the apartment and then she'll come pick me up after and take me to work or it's still 10 11 12 one she can even come back here and do some thing and then just she can come pick me up at quarter to quarter to two as long as I'm in there for two o'clock she can always come back and then we'll figure out something gotta pack up the presents so anyway I better hurry up oh, excuse me
so when she's ready to go, I don't want to hold her up. She's in the bathroom. She'll be in there for a while. My clothes are supposed to dry. So you guys all have a good day and tomorrow is, I'll do the video tomorrow. Christmas morning probably not. The 26th maybe not either because me and Ian's gonna, I don't know if Rose's gonna be here or not, but we're getting my stuff over on the 26th. And if Rose ends up going back to Edmonton or whatever happens, I got the bay cleaner on standby. He can, I'll pay him to help Ian get my stuff from Jenny Silver. Because if I move the stuff here with Ian, I'm going to be too, too tired to do the stuff I got over Jenny. So Ian said he'll pick them up and then drive them to work at 3 o'clock. Because we're open until 6 on Monday. So he'll work 3 to 6, right? The bay cleaner. So. Anyway, I'll let you guys know. If you don't see me, you know what's going on. I'm in between my moves. And yeah. I got to get one of these. I got things to do. Think. I got to get a microwave. A couple of these things I want to get right away. Got to get my box spray. Yeah. So, you guys all have a good day. And stay warm and safe. And... See you tomorrow morning. Cigarette time.